clear skies and few people. Some of the features of this site, about 60 kilometers from Carnarvon, that made it perfect to host the square kilometer array. A low population means there's a very little light pollution, but also there's very little um, radio interference. Um, unlike if you are in a place like uh, Cape Town where everybody has a cell phone and there's a, a lot of um, radio noise going on. Uh, it also has a, a low rainfall um, and that is a, a suitable for a radio telescope. 64 dishes currently adorn the Karoo landscape to form the Meerkat. With a fraction of the power the SKA will eventually have, it has already made groundbreaking discoveries since it became operational in 2018. Been able to uncover things that, uh, you know, uh, up to now, uh, it hasn't been uh, easy to, to, for scientists to study. We've um, been mapping the centre of the Milky Way. Um, there's the discovery of two new galaxies, which is extremely exciting for the scientists um, in South Africa, but across the world as well. Um, and there's also these intergalactic balloons that they've discovered um, hundreds of light years away. The SKA is being developed to answer a number of scientific questions including what happened in the aftermath of the Big Bang. And of course, the big one, if we are really alone in the universe. This futuristic equipment will basically be used to look into the past. When you look up in, in the night sky, the stars that we, you see um, um, uh, were originated billions of years ago and, and have come, you know, have uh, uh, ended up uh, being closer to Earth, therefore a lot more visible. So what a, tele a telescope like this does, it's, it, it tries to find them uh, as far back uh, as they were, uh, uh, you know, originated. So um, when you, so that you are able to um, understand how the ones that we are already seeing developed over that, at that time. So it's almost like, you know, in science movies when they talk about a, a time machine. Now they are ready to start the next phase, the 133 radio telescopes that will be constructed at a cost of 40 billion rands. We've got Meerkat, which is existing 64 dish array, and Meerkat will then incrementally be integrated into the SKA mid telescope. So at the end of the day, um, we will have 197 dishes operating for the mid telescope. The next phase of the SKA is expected to open doors for especially locals. Young people from the area are benefiting from bursaries that give them careers at the SKA. At the end of 2017, when the HERA project started, um, I actually applied there, I got the job, and since then, I'm in charge of the fibre. Apart from employing and empowering locals, the serendipitous discoveries from constructing the SKA is the processing and storing of big data, which are now being used in the financial sector. The installation of the SKA dishes is expected to take five years. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Canavan, Northern Cape.